Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, guys? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How are you feeling? I'm happy. <laughs> Excellent. Glad to hear that name. Yes. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, please turn on your cameras. So we're going to start working with this class today. Thank you. Margarita, Diana, and Elsa, please write your full names on the on the on the Zoom, right? Just like Susana, Juan, okay. and Ruben. Write your full names there. Give me a moment. Well, let me think I'm gonna use this. Let's call the attendance. One second. Dun, 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 dun. One moment, this is a little bit stuck right now. Okay, so we're gonna start here with the class. Let's call the attendance first. Today is February the 1st, right? Ana Mercedes Amaya Corado. Ana Mercedes. Andrea Laureana Vázquez Martínez. Carlos Mario Avendaño Peña. Carlos René Rivas López. Carmen René Calderón de Vázquez. Delmi Guadalupe Gómez Landa Verde. Present. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Edgar Gonzalo Chacón Alvarado. Elsa Merino de Villeda. Presente. Present. Okay. Francisco Nehemías Godínez Urquía. Present. Helen Dionelli Barraza de Jerez. Present, teacher. José Daniel Menezes Bolaños. Kevin Vladimir Gutiérrez Castillo. Marlon Balmoris Dueña Rodríguez. Balmoris. Mauricio Estela Orantes Fernández. Nelson Domínguez Díaz Alas. Nelson. Oscar Mauricio Montenegro. Presente. Reina Margarita Present Martínez teacher. de Castillo. Presente. Roxana Elizabeth Méndez Melara. Roxana Elizabeth. Rubén de Jesús Campos Gómez. Presente, teacher. Susana Esmeralda Jiménez Osorio. Present. Mario Alexander Cam Artea Campos. Diana Carolina Guevara Ortiz. Present, teacher. Claudia Carolina Ventura Canales. Okay. So we are going to start right now with our class. Do not forget to turn on your cameras, please. So we can start here. Delmi, Helen, Roxana, encena sus camaritas, por favor. Now, today we are going to continue with uh, the class, right? That we had from yesterday, of course, right? And I would like to start with a small activity. Yesterday we practiced with should and shouldn't, right? Should and shouldn't. When are we going to use should and shouldn't? Tell me. Uh huh. Uh, when I say an ad advertise. Okay. When you advertise or when you advise. 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 Okay. When you advise. Very good. Right. So. Uh, what else? When are you going to advise? Tell me. Tell me. An example. Yes, tell me an example. Of course. Um, 
you should drink water. Okay. You should drink water. Very good. You should drink water. Perfect. Thank you so much. Right? You should drink water. Very good. Okay. Now, let's see here. I, I'm going to show you another one. Here. Right. Let me show you a picture. But can you see the picture right now? No? No, right? Can you see my computer? My. No. 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 Okay, give me a second. Da, 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 da. There we are. One moment. Okay. I'm going to show you just a few, okay? Just a few pictures, but this is loading. Right here. Just give me one moment. Okay, I'm gonna show you only five pictures and tell me how could you write your examples with should, right? We're using here. Let's see. I think you can you can see it right now. Do you? No? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. So if we check the first one, it says we have the word here, check, right? Check. And then we, then we have not check, right? You're going to choose which is the best option, right? It says here, you should check your equipment before parachuting, right? When you are on the airplane and you're going to jump from the airplane, right? You should check your equipment before parachuting. Check or not check. So this person, right, chose check, right? This is the answer for them. This is the correct answer, check. Now, what would you write for number two, right? Look at this person. This person is eating a hot dog and is eating, is drinking a Coca-Cola maybe, a soda, right? Which advice can you give to this person? Not eat. Not eat, okay. So how would you write it? How would you write that? People? How will you write it with should, Dominguez? Um, mm -hmm. People uh, shouldn't not eat. Okay. Should. Healthy food. Okay. You're going to say should not or shouldn't. Okay. Shouldn't uh -huh. eat. Okay, shouldn't eat healthy food. Is that okay with you? People shouldn't eat healthy food. Hmm. So you should not eat vegetables? Look at that advice. Is that correct? You should or shouldn't? Should, sería. Should, it would be should, right? People should eat healthy food, right? People should eat healthy food, not only hot dogs and soda, right? Okay, what about number three, four, and five? Look at them. You will have one minute. Think about the possible answer. Remember, we're using either positive or negative. Here, it says jump, not jump. This pool doesn't have water. 
La piscina no tiene agua. Right? The pool doesn't have water. Oh my God. So crazy. Sure. Right? What? Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Shouldn't what? Um, Paul shouldn't jump. Shouldn't there. jump. Okay. Jump. There isn't any water. Okay. Paul shouldn't jump. There isn't any water. Very good. Now, number Good four. Good evening. Number four, we have nobody. And he is running, you know? He is running, but he has a laptop. That's crazy, right? He is running right now. Oh my God, so fast, right? But he has a laptop. What will you put there? Nobody. Shouldn't. Nobody should. Shouldn't use. Nobody shouldn't use, right? A laptop while running, right? In this case, I would say should. Nobody should use. You should not use it. Nobody should use a laptop while running because it's dangerous. You can break the laptop. And what about number five? Tell me. What about number five? His dad should buy another golf club. This is broken. Okay. Should that should not buy or should buy? Sorry, should buy? Should buy. Should buy. I agree with you. Should buy another golf club. This is broken. Very good. Very good. This is just for you to remember the use of should and shouldn't. Do you have a question about the topic that we saw yesterday? Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So let's continue then. We're going to go to the book. Right? We're going to use the book today a lot. Right. Can I, can I erase this information? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, just give me one moment. Can you see my computer? Not yet, right? Okay. Give me a moment right here, guys. Can you see my computer? Can you see your book? Yes? Yes. Okay, thank you, Andrea. Now we're gonna go start right here with a reading for today. Right? In this case, we have five different pieces of products, right? These are chocolate products. Right. And with the chocolate products, what we're going to do is that we're going to read and complete the information based on the product, right? For example, we're going to start with a spicy peanut toffee. That's the uh, first product, right? Now here, this chart is telling us that we need to have the name, the code, size, ingredients, weight and price per unit, right? So we read here and it says a spicy peanut toffee. Name, what is the name? A spicy peanut toffee, right? We put here a spicy peanut toffee. All right, let me just make sure we change it, right? Now we got it there, All right? A spicy peanut toffee. 
What is the code of this? Let's see. Our spicy peanut toffee is made with butter, blah, blah, blah. No, it doesn't have a code, right? So we're, we don't have a code for that, right? So no worries about the code. Now, size, this is a box with six units. Is this a box with six units? No. Right? No, right? It's just one, so mm -mm, it's not a box with six units. Now, the ingredients, what are some of the ingredients of the spicy peanut toffee? Sweet, salty, spiced, and chunky. Okay, that is like the combination of the ingredients, but what are the ingredients per se? For example, when you eat a pupusa, the pupusa is salty, uh, uh, greasy, delicious, right? But the ingredients are uh, beans, uh, uh, porky, uh, they are cheese, right? Those are the ingredients. So what are the ingredients here? Um, butter toffee, roasted peanuts, and cajun chili pepper. Butter toffee, very good. Roasted peanuts, exactly, and Cayenne pepper, cayenne pepper. Very good, tell me, thank you so much. So those are the ingredients. Does it say anything about the wave? No, right? Wave is, for example, um, I don't know. This is, this is not heavy, but look the wave. Light, heavy. Does it say anything about the the weight? No, right? Let's talk about price per unit. What is the price of the peanut, a spicy peanut toffee? What is the price? Mm -hmm. $7. Seven dollars and 50 cents. Cent. Very good. Seven fifty. Very good. That's the price. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and do the others. You are going to do the, the other four total candies, chocolate covered caramels and chocolate dip nugget. You're going to do them by yourself, okay? Try to complete the chart. We already did number one. You're going to do the other three, okay? Let's start. Let's start. Tell me if you have a question, please. ¿Entienden el ejercicio? Yes, Tell me if when you if you finish or tell me if you have a question so I can help you.
Do you finish? Do you need help? Ready? <coughs> ¿Están listos? No yet? Yes. <coughs> okay, Naomi has finished. What about the others? I finished. Finished, okay. So, Nemias, you are going to do total candies. Total candies, okay? Nemias. Okay. The other person was Laureana, yes? Yes. Yes, right. Okay. Andrea, I finished. Diana, thank you very much. So, the last one's going to be for Diana. Chocolate dip nugget. Oof, delicious. So delicious. Okay, Diana, right? It's gonna have the last one. So tell me, Nehemias, what's the name? Uh, your microphone is on mute. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, turtle candies, um, size, um, six pieces. Pieces is okay. Six okay. pieces. Yeah. Ingredients: buttery caramel, pecans, uh, dark chocolate or milk. Price: uh, six dollar. With okay, wait, 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 wait. Si fue secretaria, pero no lo escribo tan rápido. Okay. <laughs> buttery caramel, pecans. What else? Fresh roasted dark, pecans. Dark chocolate. Okay, fresh, look at this. Fresh roasted pecans. Pecans and, and dark. Uh, uh, or? Or milk chocolate. Milk chocolate. Okay, very good, very good. And the weight, no? Uh, wait, no. No, okay. Price? Price. Uh, $6 with $0.30. $6 with 30 cents. Okay, very good. What about chocolate-covered caramels? Oof. Sounds like a plan. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Okay. Name chocolate-covered caramels. Okay. <laughs> uh, size, six 
pieces. Size six pieces, okay? Caramel. Six pieces, two, good. And In uh -huh. ingredients, uh, pure caramel and chocolate. Pure caramel, pure caramel, okay? Pure, pure caramel. caramel and chocolate. And chocolate. Only that. Good, and chocolate. Okay, pure caramel and chocolate. Very good. And the size? Nothing? Mm, and price? Uh-huh. Seven dollars. Seven dollars, expensive. Okay, good. And Diana, we'll go with the last one. Okay. Name? Uh, uh, chocolate treats? No way. And okay. ingredients? Okay. Mm, honey, almonds, vanilla, and dark chocolate. Honey, almond, vanilla, and dark chocolate. Vanilla and dark chocolate. Okay. And price uh, is seven dollars. Seven dollars too. Okay. Very no good. Way, no code. Okay. No. No weight. No code. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and do something similar, right? With our experience, with the things that we know, right? What could be a product that you, that you actually can find, right? What could be a product that you can find? For example, you put here, let's see, I'm gonna put this one. I was eating before the class. I was eating tarrito, right? This was I was eating. I was eating tarrito, right? So this is like a like a, a candy, right? So I'm gonna put here name tarrito, right? It's a Mexican uh, thing. Code. Does it have a code? Mm. Oh, yes, it has a code. The code for Tarrito is RM016920. That's the code. The size, it doesn't have a size, right? Well, we say that it's only one piece, right? It has only one, one Tarrito inside, right? One piece. Ingredients, the ingredients here, it says sugar, right? Sugar, corn syrup, and acid citrix, right? These are the ingredients of my tarrito, right? Wave, okay, does it say here? Net wave, here in net wave, it says 0 0.56 ounces, 0 0.56 ounces, right? Ounces. And price per unit, it was actually only 50 cents, right? So we have there a product that you can find in your house, right? And we can classify that product. Right, look at what I just did with the tarrito, right? Now, what I want you to do is the following. You're going to work in pairs, right? In your house, look for a product. It can be food, it can be medicine, anything, right? A cell phone, a computer, anything that you have and try to complete just about one product. For example, I found tarrito, right? So what do you have in your house, right? Van a ir, van a trabajar en pareja, van a buscar un producto, okay? Van a buscar un producto y con base en ese producto van a, a llenar así como hicimos con este ejemplo, okay? Yo lo acabo de hacer con un ejemplo de un dulcito. Ustedes lo pueden hacer con comida, con pan, con cualquier cosa que tengan en su casa, rapidito. Okay, y vamos a buscar la información y luego la vamos a escribir en el chat para compartirla. ¿Qué les parece? 
¿Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? ¿Yes? ¿No? Yes. Yes, teacher. Ok, very good. Voy a borrar esto. Ya cuando lo borre ya no lo vamos a poder ver. Así que o toman captura de pantalla o toman notas. ¿Estamos listos? ¿Están listos? ¿Sí? Yes. Yes, ok. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Right. Y vamos. Vamos ya. Regresamos en no más de 10 minutos. Vamos a escoger a su equipo. Roxana, por favor, escoja su equipo. Ah, pero no puedo compartir pantalla. This meeting is being recorded. Ya le voy a dar permiso para que la comparta. Permítame. Gracias. Ahí está. Trate hoy. Teacher, mm. eh, Hola. Es, un producto, es un producto que nosotros, para preparar nosotros, como que lo estuviéramos cocinando, es un producto que ya está preparado, como un ingrediente de cocina. Este ya está preparado. Y de aquí lo okay. agarré yo, ¿sí? ¿Sí? Usted el, el, el que tenga la mano. Lo que queremos es saber si ustedes pueden identificar a qué nos referimos con este, con este cuadro de categorías. ¿Ok? Ok. Perfecto, gracias René por su pregunta. ¿Alguna otra pregunta, Elsa? No, teacher, todo aquí. ¿No? Ok, perfecto. Nos vemos en un ratito. Ok. okay. Eh, ¿Puede ver la pantalla, Carlos? Sí, el... ¿El documento? Ajá, lo que he puesto. The name, call. Ok. Vale. Entonces, eh... si, si usted gusta, elijamos el que usted dijo. Ok, este... Quiero ver si puedo agregar una... Una... Una columna. A la derecha... Este sería el de nosotros. El que vamos a agregar. Sí. Permítame. Va. Aquí tengo en la mano un bote de magnesio. Se llama High Potential Magnesium. Sí, lo coloco. Sí, está bien. Bueno, Digo un producto. ¿Eh? Un producto. Sí, cualquier cosa, dije. Un churrito. Bye. Bye. Hay potencia. Potencia. Magnesio. Eh, código. 
Pues, eh, no sé. ¿Y el código qué dijo que era? Nadie lo escribió. Yo creo que el código no es importante. Ok. Eh, la cantidad trae la 400 mano. miligramos. Los ingredientes. Dice óxido de magnesio. Ah, que es en inglés. Ochocientos miligramos. Miligramos. Oxide. Ah, también, ¿verdad? En size, ¿verdad? 400 miligramos. Miligramos. Sí. Miligramos. En inglés. Ingredientes, dijo. Magnesium. Solo dice magne magnesium oxide. Ah, pero <coughs> fíjese que aquí eh, weight sería 400 miligramos. ¿Verdad? Sí. 400 miligramos. Ajá. Y en las, en el size o unidades traen 60 cápsulas. Ok. 60 cápsulas. Cápsulas. El precio era de 13 dólares. Va, listo. Four hundred miligramos magnesio oxido. Sesenta cápsulas. Chico. 16 capsules. Sí. Price. Voy a subirlo un poquitín. 13 dólares. Aquí ya queda la tabla completa. Ok. Capsules. Oxid. ¿Y para qué sirve eso? El magnesio sirve para los huesos. Dice... ¿Y qué va a poner? ¿Y qué voy a poner si aquí no hay nada? Yo estoy en una oficina. Ay. Hi, just, miss. Hi. Just one per group. ¿Ah? Just one per group. <risa> How many eh, do you have? Uh, ah, o sea, una persona. Sí, puede uno por equipo. Logro. Ok. ¿Mm? Ok. Okay. Eh, podría una soda podría perfect quién necesita mis eh, el nombre los ingredientes these oh. elements these, these elements, elements. Oh, okay name code size ingredients weight price oh. per unit lo que tenemos aquí en la paginita es pero solamente para uno no para cuatro number page This is of uh, 18. 18. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mario and Roxana. See you in a moment. Hola. Okay. Multivitamin with minerals. Sí. Okay. Any question, guys? Any question? Uh, sí. Teacher. Sí. Finish. You finished. Finish. Okay. Muy bien. Yes. Debemos esperar a los demás entonces. Si pueden hagan dos. Okay. Ya terminaron uno, hagamos dos entonces, porque hay otros equipos que van comenzando. Okay. Sí, en un momento. Okay. Lo que pasa es que no tenemos otro producto a la mano. <laughs> <laughs> 
<risa> Any questions? Eh, no, no, teacher. teacher. Ya, ya terminaron. Okay. Y ya estamos comiendo también del ejemplo. <risa> es que no hemos tenido tiempo para comer, teacher. Coma, no hay problema. No hay okay. problema. Thanks. <risa> Veamos acá. Vámonos, 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 vamos. Provecho, Nemies. <ríe> Diana, 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 que no fue su equipo, Diana. Hola. No estuvo en su equipo. Bueno, ya yes. okay. eh, Ya terminamos. Ok. Then we're going to continue here. Give me a moment, you guys. Okay, so right now that everyone is here, everyone is back, you are going to write your product in the chat. So we have two people. For example, we have Francisco and Miss Mercedes, right, Miss Amaya. So uh, Francisco can put the information in the chat and Miss Amaya is going to speak. She's going to read the product, okay? So let's do it. Vamos a hacer dos cosas al mismo tiempo. Estamos dos en el equipo, uno escribe y el otro presenta. Ok, let's start. Eh, Francisco en Miss Amaya. Hola. Teacher, mientras Hola. lo escribe el compañero lo menciono. Sí, correcto. A ver okay. si aprovechamos el tiempo. My product, Ney Corflakes. Cornflakes, ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, cornflakes. Call 034. Size 105 grams. Ingredients 4 grams. Weight 14.3 Ounce, ounces. Ounces, ajá. Uh -huh. Ounces. Price per unit 3 dollars. 3 dollars. Very good. Thank you so much. Now let's listen to Carlos Mario. Thank you, Ana and Nemias. Hi. Hi. Uh, my product is Starbucks Macchiato. Okay, fancy. <laughs> <laughs> After I will tell you the history. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Starbucks Machato. Uh, we found a cone, but I don't know if it's relevant to tell. Tell me. If it's in okay. English, tell me. Uh, yeah. No, we, so, uh, some letters and numbers. Okay. 7 ETM RH4A 4G 4J. Okay. <clears throat> and that's the code. Size and box with 12 cups. Okay. Uh, ingredients. Uh, whole milk powder, sugar, natural flavors, and soja. Roasted coffee and ground. Okay. And weight, uh, 127.8 grams. Price. $3.65. $3.65. Okay, very good, Carlos Mario. You were with Susana, right? Sí. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carlos, and thank you, Susana. Okay. Now let's listen to Laura. <clears throat> Laureana. 
Ok. Ok, yo escribo, ¿no? Yo escribo, yo escribo. Un momento. Vaya. Hola, Name, aquí. gel antiséptico. Ah, ok. okay. Uh -huh. Ingredients, eh, perdón, size, one piece. Ingredients, etil alcohol, emollients, and water. Eh, weight, eh, 1500 mililitros. Mi, no sé cómo se dice, teacher. Millilitros. Millimeters. Millimeters. Yes. And price, two dollars. Price, two dollars. Okay. Okay, very good. So type it, Mauricio. Eh? Antiseptic okay. gel. Okay. This is a box with chalk. Hello, here. teacher. Yes, Roxana. Fíjese que me voy a desconectar un ratitito, que me pasó un problemita ahí. Hoy, ya me vuelvo a conectar. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see Ruben. Ruben, who are you working with, Ruben? Hello. Mm -hmm. eh, con Nelson Domínguez, este, okay. yo lo voy a escribir. Nelson lo va a mencionar, okay, perfecto. Okay. Alcohol bottle. Eh, call for one six three zero three. Uh, uh, one pies, uh, ingredient, water, ethylic alcohol, glycerin, uh, citric acid, weight, um, 245 milliliter. Millimeter, okay, milliliter, milliliter, okay, good. Milliliter. Very good. And Thank price? You. Uh huh. And two dollar, uh, 50 cents. 50 cents, okay. Perfect. Thank you so much, Nelson and Ruben. Let's see who's missing. We're missing Elsa. Elsa, who are you with? With Carlos Rene. Okay. Hi. Eh, Hi. gusta escribir usted, Elsa. Okay. Yo no puedo escribir. Okay. Muy bien. Uh, good night, classmate. Uh, good night. My product uh, with uh, Elsa Merino is the high potency magnesium. Okay. Size, uh, 16 cups. Ingredients. Mag magnesium oxide weight 400 milligram in the price is the 13 dollar 13 dollars 13 dollars okay very good, good thank you medicine. so much good medicine. <laughs> good medicine for 13 dollars very good thank you so much Renee and Elsa and we listen to Diana Carolina, who was with you? Uh, my co-worker was uh, Margarita Costilla. Sí. Okay, let's si go. Gusta, usted escribe y yo lo pronuncio. Okay. Uh, nine, nine body cream, coconut oil restoration. A call a seven nine zero nine one a nine. Okay. A six box Y unit a one unit a ingredients. Water, mineral oil, eh, petrolatum, coconut oil, glycerin, uh -huh. and glycerin. Eh, wines, eh, one liter. Eh, Prese, price per unit. Uh -huh. eh, ten dollars. 
ten dollars. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, then. Right now, is anybody missing here? Thank you, Margaritas. Thank you, Diana. Balmo, eh, Balmoris. Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. My uh, my my classmate mm -hmm. was Helen. Okay. And Helen will write in the chat, and, okay. and I will Perfect. pronunciate. Excellent. Um, well, the uh, name of the product is acetaminophen. Okay. The uh, code is. Six five nine zero size a uh, box with what one hundred units ingredients. Uh, uh, it's only acetam acetaminophen in um, 50, 50 milligrams. Mm, no, mil milligrams. Milligrams. It's the compound. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and the weight is um, fifty hundred milligrams in, in in total of the box, and the price is six dollar and eighteen cents per box. Okay, perfect. I remember <laughs> it. It's okay. It's okay. What we're trying to do is that you recognize the categories that we have. Ok, yes. lo que estamos tratando okay. de hacer es que reconozcamos cómo, cómo leer un producto, okay, que es algo bien importante okay. si estamos trabajando en una empresa eh, o una farmacia o en un supermercado, ¿verdad? te debemos recoger, reconocer cuáles son los ingredientes o cómo se codifica un producto. Muy bien, okay. very good. Thank you so much, Valbonis. Okay. ¿Hace falta alguien? ¿Hace yes. falta alguien? Sí, ok, vamos. Ok, the name of our product is mm, More Vitamin Centrum. Call EN4A for night. Size bottle with 120, 120 tablets. Ingredients vitamin A, vitamin C. Vitamin D3, vitamin E, vitamin K, and cyanide. And, and price per unit, $35. Okay, $5 price per unit. Okay, very good, Delmi. Very good, Kelvin. We have, Kevin, sorry. We have written the information there. Now, questions about this exercise? No, right? Easy. I think it's easy. Creo que es bastante fácil para ustedes. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and work with something here. Right? Price 618. Price, price, price. Okay. We just finished this. We're going to start with this unit. Right? For this unit, we have a conversation. I want you to please listen to me. Okay. Listen to me and I will have some people to read with uh, after, right? To practice pronunciation. So we have Tom and Orson. Tom and Orson. Please pay attention. No escriban nada. Solo pongan atención en estos momentos, okay? Now let's start. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson. I work for Oach. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we are growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for ECO, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. 
Okay. Now I would like to listen for Tom. I want to listen to uh, Kevin. Okay. And for Urson, I would like to listen to Diana. Let's start. Okay. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Orson. I work for Hout. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we are growing, so there are not many branches in the country that there are few. What company do you work for? I work for for SAO the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I Como sería, teacher? Orson. Orson. Who's Orson? Ah, sorry. Perdón, yo creí que era mi parte. Ah, okay. That's great. I visit one uh, of the store the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We, we are planning on launching uh, one in Santa Ana this day. There isn't one yet. Very good. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Diana. Thank you very much. Now I would like to listen to two other people. Let's see, we have not listened to, recently, we have not listened to Ana Mercedes. Can you go with Tom? And Ruben, go with Orson. Okay. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Orson. I am born for hot. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador, downtown. Yes, we are grown. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are a few. What company do you work for? I work for Echo, teacher. Yeah, continue. Mm -hmm. The painting company, there are 25 branches in, in the country. That's great. I visit one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are seats in San Salvador. We are planning of, on launching one in Santa Ana this day. There isn't one yet. Okay, there isn't one yet. Very good. Thank you so much. Right. Do you have questions about this conversation? Questions? No questions? Okay, let's continue then here with the activity that we're going to do. We have two questions based on this conversation. Right. We have three. It says there three offices in San Salvador, there one store in Soyapango, there are no any offices in this region yet. What would you write here? What would you write? We're gonna have two options, right? Only we're gonna have here is, the verb to be is, right? Or, or are, right? Choose, is or are. Which one do you think is the best option to write here, is or are? It doesn't Number matter if one, you make sake, uh huh? Are. Are, okay, are. There are, okay. Number two? Number there two is. is. There is. Okay, very good. Number three? Is 
office. Yes. Okay, very good. There isn't any offices in this region yet. Okay, now in this one, right? We're going, we're going to use, right? There aren't any offices. And I will explain to you why we're gonna use that, right? We use plural, not singular, right? Now let's go ahead and start working here. Uh, I will explain to you very quick, very quick, the use of there is and there are, okay? This is a topic that we already work with in uh, Principiante 3, creo. Principiante 3, ya vimos ese tema, right? But we're gonna try to, to cover that for today. There isn't or there aren't. Now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna divide here the board, okay? That's the first thing that we're gonna do. We're gonna put here, there is, there, sorry, there is, it's gonna be on this side, right? And then we're gonna have there are. There are two different things, right? There is and there are. So we come here and we divide this information, right? We're going to divide it. First things first, right? We are going to use there is, right? Plus, there is plus singular nouns. What is a noun? What is a noun? What do you remember is a noun? What is a noun? You, they... Oh, that is a subject, Andrea. Subject. I, you, we, they, those are subjects. But a noun, it's like my, uh, Mario said, an, un nombre, right? We name everything. Uh, no, no, in that case, no. Right? In this case, will be everything that we can name. For example, we have these matches. Right? Matches. Look at this. One match. Singular. One. Okay. And then we have. <laughs> and then we have plural. Right? We have many. Right? Singular, plural, right? So what are nouns? Nouns is pretty much everything that we can name. Wall, computer, person, woman, a student, a students, right? Uh, medicine. A, how do you call this? Uh, tape, right? Everything that you can name is a noun. The thing here is that here with there is, we're going to use it with singular nouns, okay? And there are is going to be plus plural nouns, right? So with there is, we're going to say there is, one match. There is one match. There are there are many matches here. There are many matches. Right? Do you understand that? Do you understand the example? For example, in this class, in this class, there are how many students? Let me see. There are 17 students, right? There are 17 students. So in this case, we're gonna make here our example, right? There are, there are 17 students in the English class. Right? So we have there are plus a plural noun. Right? 
What is the plural now? Students. What happens here is that sometimes we need to put a quantity for this, right? We need to put a quantity. There, there is one computer in my bedroom, right? Because before I go to sleep, I watch TV, I watch Netflix. Right. There is one computer in my bedroom. Do you understand these examples right now? Yes. Yes? Okay. Can you tell me in the chat one example with there is? Let's see, we have a person. Okay. Now, can you tell me an example with there is? La asistencia, mientras hacen su ejemplo, les paso la asistencia. Okay? Write your example. Write your example with there is. Okay. Vamos a ver acá. Recuérdense la, la cámara, Ana Mercedes, Roxana Elizabeth. Ana Mercedes Amaya Decorado. Present. Andrea Laureana Vázquez Martínez. Present. Carlos Mario Vendaño Peña. Present. Carlos René Rivas López. Present. Carmen René Calderón de Vázquez. Carmen René. Delmi Guadalupe Gómez Landa Verde. Present. Edgar Gonzalo Chacón Alvarado. Elsa Merino de Villeda. Present. Francisco Nehemías Godínez eh, Urquía. Present. Helen Dioneri Barraza de Jerez. Present. José Daniel Menezes Bolaños. Kevin Vladimir Gutiérrez Castillo. Present. Marlon Balmoris Doña Rodríguez. Present. Mauro Estela Orantes Fernández. Nelson Domínguez Díaz Ayala. Oscar Mauricio Montenegro. Presente, teacher. Reina Margarita Martínez de Castillo. Roxana Elizabeth Méndez Presente. Melara. Presente. Rubén de Jesús Campos Gómez. Presente, teacher. Susana Esmeralda Jiménez Osorio. Presente. Mario Alexander Arteaga Campos. Diana Carolina Guevara Ortiz. Presente. Claudia Carolina Ventura Canales. Okay, so we're going to start here right now with next part of the class, right? I te lo puso porque... Microphones. Okay, now we have the examples here, right? Let's take a look on this. First example, this is Nehemiah's. There is my desk. There is my desk where I put the boxes. There is a desk where I put the boxes. Okay. There is one refrigerator in the house. Perfect, Susana. There are books. Name yes. There are books. Okay. There is one cellular phone. We say cell phone. Cell phone. There is one cell phone. There are eight pencils. Pencils. In my desk. There is one table in my work. There are 20 eggs in my refrigerator. Que galán, yo solo uno tengo en la casa. There is a desk. There is one TV in my house. Muy bien. There is a calculator on my desk. Very good. Excellent. We have different examples here. Right? ¿Me escuchan? ¿Me escuchan? 
Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, perfecto. Yes. Que es que los veo todos congelados, me dio miedo. Ok. There is la imagen a bike. se le había congelado un poco, pero la oí mucho. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Es con que me hayan suficiente. There is a bike. There is a bike. ¿Dónde está su, 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 su bicicleta? There is a bike. ¿A dónde? Usualmente vamos a decir there is and there are para especificar que hay una existencia de algo o de algunas cosas en un lugar. ¿Ok? Sí, o en alguna posición que nosotros, por ejemplo, si yo digo, como dice Rubén, there is a calculator on my desk. Entonces es porque tal vez yo la estoy buscando y me dice Rubén, Silvia, there is a calculator on my desk. Si yo voy, busco y le, ah, ok, there is one calculator on, on his desk. Right? Entonces estamos hablando de que hay existencia. There is y there are, nos van a decir que hay existencia. Ok. En realidad, there is y there are no son sujetos en la oración. ¿Okay? Ellos no son sujetos, sino que solamente nos dicen, y nos, nos estamos refiriendo a que algo existe o personas existen. ¿Okay? ¿Entendemos hasta el momento there is and there are? Yes. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Yes. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? ¿Por qué? There is a night lamp in my room. Excellent, Margarita. <laughs> okay. ¿Hay algo, al, alguna pregunta? ¿Algo que no hayan entendido? Pregunten, por favor. There is a night lamp in my room. Podemos decir, there is a bike in my backyard. There is a, a bike in the park. There is a bike in the garage. Right? Donde usualmente se encuentran las, las bicicletas. Ok. ¿Cuál es su, ¿Cuáles son sus ejemplos? ¿No veo? Margarita. Ah, sí, Margarita la escribió. Dionelli. Y escribió uno. Sí, there is my desk. Ok. Usualmente, después de there is, right, no vamos a utilizar my. No vamos a utilizar pertenencia. Lo que vamos a usar es una cantidad. O ya sea el número exacto que existe o una frase de cantidad. ¿Se recuerdan las frases de cantidades que vimos en el módulo 2? Bueno, que vieron en el módulo 2. En el módulo 2 vimos frases de cantidad. A lot of, many, a few. ¿Ok? Entonces, esas vamos a utilizar aquí. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, si yo no quiero decir cuántos estudiantes hay, ¿ahí? sabemos que hay 17 estudiantes. ¿Ok? There are 17 students. Pero no quiero utilizar el número. Entonces, voy a utilizar una... Quantity expression. Okay, quantity expression. What is a quantity expression? Oh, there are a lot of students in the English class. No soy específica porque soy de Aragana y no quiero contar, pero sé que hay bastantes. Right? So, utilizo una quantity expression. Si digo many, okay, many, many students. Sabemos que son más de, más de dos o tres estudiantes. Okay? Si ya son pocos, we say there are a few. Ah, no pasan de cinco. No sabemos qué número exactamente, pero son pocos. A few. ¿Entendemos esas expresiones? ¿Ya se recordaron de esas expresiones? ¿Módulo 2? ¿Sí? Ok, perfecto. Vamos a ver acá. Les voy a mostrar una PowerPoint y me dicen sus respuestas. Vamos a hacer un pequeño ejercicio. Por favor, pongan atención. <coughs> We're going to go with the reason and the R. Okay? Practice exercise. Everyone pay attention. Son 10 oraciones. Todos cuando vengamos, vamos a escribir nuestras respuestas. Todos al mismo tiempo en el chat. Okay? Let's start. Permítanme que se trago ese chunche. Okay. There we are. We have there is, there are, practice exercise. Let's start. Okay. Okay, there is or there are. That's the first exercise. Look at the picture. What would you write here, Balmoris? Se lo pronuncio o se lo escribo en el chat. Bueno, sería 
there are six, no, seven. There are seven pencils on the desk. Okay. There are seven pencils on the desk. Pencils. Repeat. Pencils. Pencils. No pencils. Pen no. Pencils. <laughs> mm -hmm. pencils. Pencils. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much. Right. Así como lo hizo él. Right. Todos los demás. Vamos a ir a escribir. Nos vamos a enfocar más en el uso de there is and there are. Right. Y tratemos de escribir también expresiones de, de cantidad. Ok. Quantity expressions. Veamos acá. The answer is. There are pencils on the desk. Right. There are pencils on the desk. Very good. There are six pencils on the desk. Very good too. Okay. Cualquier otra respuesta está correcta. Estamos enfocando en the reason there are para no equivocarnos. Veamos la siguiente. There is or there are. Look at this picture. What is the answer? Write the answer in the chat, everyone. Put your answer in the chat. There is or there are? There is a tiger over there. there. Over there. Repeat, over there. Over there. Over there. Over no, there. Sí, over there. Ah, ¿Dónde está? Allá, mira, ve. Over there. Over there. Over right. there. Exactly. Very good. Let's see the answer. Right, the we got here. Right. There is a tiger over there. There is a beautiful tiger, actually. Look at the tiger, it's precious, right? Now, look at the other one. Vamos a darle unos 30 segundos para que todos respondan y luego alguien va a hablar, okay? Veamos. Look at this picture. Aha, uh -huh. pretty easy, right? Yeah. What? Okay. Let's see the answer. There are a lot of books. ¿Cuál es la frase de cantidad que tenemos acá? A lot of. A lot of. Right? Nehemiah, read, read the sentence. There are a lot of books. A lot of. A lot of books. A lot of books. There are a lot of books. Very good. Thank you so much. Excellent. Recuerden, hay que darle unos 30 segundos. 30 segundos es bastante. Ok, no vamos a hablar de un solo. Vamos a darle 30 segundos a los compañeros que respondan. Ok, vamos con la siguiente. There is or the... Yo voy a escoger a quién va a hablar. Vamos a ver. Ok, we have this right here. Thank Think, don't give the answer. Think, no de la respuesta aún. Think, don't give out the answer. Wait, wait, wait. Carlos René, what is the answer? There are, there are, uh, se olvidó como se dice 11, teacher. 11. 11. Mm -hmm. There are 11 players uh, in the football camp. No, me. A soccer camp. Soccer team. Soccer aquí? team. ¿Qué es la oración? ¿Le da la oración? There are 11, 11. players. Uh, 11 players on on a soccer team soccer team very good thank you so much now let's see the next one look at this mm -hmm. what is the answer avendaño uh, there are a cell phone there are and, uh, a cell phone and and I'm going to mention the the cubiertos. How do you say? Sorry. Cutlery. Cutler. Cutlery. And a couple of cutler on the table. Okay. Now remember there is for singulars and there are for plurals. How many cell phones can you see? 
how many cell phones? One. One, okay, very good. One, is singular or plural? Singular. Singular, okay, what's the answer? There is or there are? There is. There is a phone, okay, good. Very good. There is a phone on the plate, right? And there is, right, there, there is a knife, there is a fork, or we can say there are cutlery on the table, right? There is a phone, there is a phone, very good. Let's continue here. Number six. Oh my God, look so pretty, so pretty, right? Susana, what, what could be your answer in here? Mm, there is a cute puppy in the box. Okay, very good. Now let's check here. Now there is a cute puppy. Repeat, puppy. Puppy. Puppy, there is a cute puppy in the box. Look how pretty, right? Let's go with next one, number seven. Mm -hmm. We have here another expression of quantity, right? Nelson, what is the answer? <clears throat> now? Yes. Uh, there are many chairs and decks in the classroom. Okay, very good. Desks, repeat, desk. 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 Very Desk. good. Exactly, there you are. Very good. Now let's continue. Number eight, oops. <laughs> Just read the answer here, Balmoris. <laughs> there are two cats sleeping. There are two cats sleeping, right? There are two cats sleeping. Very good. And number nine, Margarita. Look at this, Margarita. Hello. There is, there is a jet flying in the ski. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Flying. Repeat. Flying. Flying in the sky. In the sky. Right. There is a jet flying in the sky. Repeat. The the I. Is a plane in the cat in the sky. Okay, one more time. Listen to me. There is a jet flying in the sky. There is a jet flying in the sky. Quítese la mano de la boca. Flying. 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 Very good. Una de las, de las tips para aprender a pronunciar bien, quitamos todo lo que nos molesta cuando estamos hablando para que podamos abrir bien la boca. Ok. Flying. Okay. Así como lo hizo Margarita. Perfecto. Now, let's see the last one. Tell me. Thank you, Margarita. The last one, number 10. Oh, look at this. Like in Guatemala. When you go to Guatemala. There are many penguins. At the zoo. Penguins. Repeat. Penguins. There you are. Penguins. Very good. There are many penguins at the zoo. Zoo. Repeat. Zoo. 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 Very good. At the zoo. Okay. Very good. <clears throat> so I think there is and there are is a very easy topic for you. Right? That's what we got from the exercise. That will be the first exercise. Questions about the reason there are? Questions? No questions. No? Question, no? Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to see the use of the reason there are in the book. Okay? In the book. So we are on page 
Na, page 20. Go to page 20. Page 20 right there. Page 20. Are you there yet? Yes? Okay, so on page 20. Now, can you please help me, Carlos Mario, with the first part? I would like you to please read this part. And <clears throat> the two examples, Ruben and Ana Mercedes. From the beginning? Yes. And use there? Yes. Okay. Use there is there are to state that something exists. We use there is for singular nouns and there are for plural nouns. Uh, not after to be create the negative form. Okay, thank you so much. There okay. is one office in San Salvador. There is not a store of the city. Okay, thank you. Mercedes, I think it's Mercedes. There are three distribution centers in Ilopango. There are not many places to have a meeting. To have a meeting, okay, very good. So we have this small exercise here, right? In which we are going to read the sentences. There are so mistakes in these sentences, okay? I want you to find them. For example, here it says, there is two branches in El Salvador. There is two branches in El Salvador. What is the mistake, Miss, Miss Merino de Villeda? It's plural. It's plural? So what's uh, there? Are, there are two branches in El Salvador. There are two branches in El Salvador. Very good. So we're going to put here, we're going to write the answer. There are two branches in El Salvador. Right? So we go ahead and put the answer. Right? Let's go ahead and do the others. Right? Let's do the others. Find the mistakes. Find the mistakes. The second is, is, no, are. Okay. Can you read the answer? There is one facility, uh, available. One. Available. Available. Okay. Now, in this case, if we put like this. Okay, there is one facilities. What happens here? What is the problem? Maybe the problem is not R, right? The problem is the word facilities, right? Facilities, what is facilities? Facilities in a company, right? For example, you say, ah, oh, what are the facilities in my company? The bathrooms, the cafeteria, the resting area right? Those are the facilities, right? Todos esos lugares donde vamos a comer, al baño, descansamos, those are the facilities, right? Entonces, ¿cuál sería el error? Teacher, en ese caso, a lo mejor sería que en vez de one sería too many. Too many. Okay, okay, there are too many. There are, oh, there are many. Many, many many facilities available <coughs> there are many facilities available very good you see now si utilizamos there is solamente sería there is one facility facility available right what about number three guys there is it's true it's true no tiene un error busque el error Office. 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 Very good. Tell me. Oh, Susana. ¿Quién era? Entonces, ¿cuál Del sería me. la respuesta, Tell me? There are. No. A new office. There no. is a new office. There is a new 
office. Very good. In singular, right? There is a new office, not offices. Porque offices sería plural, right? Very good. What about number four? Mm -hmm. There not are materials to work. There not are materials to work. There are not materials to work. There are not, yes. There are not materials to work. Okay, good. Thank you so much. And number five. There are not three boxes in the lobby. There are not three boxes in the lobby. No three boxes in the lobby. The lobby is the reception area, okay? It's the same, the lobby. Now, we need to remember here that in English, this is a note for you to remember, we have there are not equals there are no. It's the same, okay? So if you see this, okay, it's not a mistake, it's correct. Si ustedes quieren utilizarla así, está bien, okay? There are no facilities, there are no offices, there are no materials, está bien, okay? No hay ningún problema. Pueden utilizar cualquiera de las dos formas. Now, do you understand this exercise? Do you have a question? ¿Tienen alguna yes. pregunta? ¿No hay preguntas? Teacher, y siempre podremos usar la forma así, como contractada, de aren't. Yeah, sí, muy bien. Okay. Solamente recuérdense, en forma escrita, si usted va a escribir un correo a su jefe o un reporte de su trabajo o algo que sea formal, utilice la forma eh, larga, como le decimos. Okay. La forma contractada okay, la va a utilizar solamente cuando está hablando. Okay. Pero si es en, en forma escrita, ahí es cuando vamos a utilizar la forma más larga. Ok, muy bien. ¿Algo más? ¿Seguro que no tienen preguntas? Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and work together here, right? Can you see my computer? This is the reason yes. there are? Yes. Okay, we're gonna work here. We have, uh, no, let me see, not this one. Let me show you another one. That one is too easy for you. Vamos a sacar otro ejercicio. <laughs> okay, I want you to look at my computer right now, okay? In the computer, you're going to see several exercises, not only with there is and there are, but you're going to see also other examples, okay? I want you to pay attention, right? Right. Can you see my computer? This is there is and there are? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. okay, perfect. Yes, teacher. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, we're going to start here with these exercises, complete with there is or there are. We have a bedroom. This is a bedroom with different items that we have in our bedrooms, right? We have a pillow, a lamp, uh, some mirrors, books, computer, many things, right? So what I want you to do is that I want you to look at the bedroom and complete here with there is or there are, okay? We have three, six, seven, eight. So 
Let's start. You have two minutes because this is so easy for you. You have two minutes. Let's start. Oh my God, I have allergies. Mm -hmm. Did you finish? Not yet? Almost? Teacher, what is a scarf? A scarf is an item that you put around your neck. When mm. it's cold, you put a scarf here. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Do you finish? Finished. Very good, Carlos. Let's start with Carlos. Finish. What, Carlos, what do you have in number one? For the number one, I think is there is a shirt on the bed. A t-shirt on the bed. There is a, a t-shirt on the bed. Okay, thank you so much. Number two, Dominguez. Uh, there are two books on the floor. There are two books on the floor. Okay, number three, Andrea. There is a scarf on the floor. Okay, there is a scarf on the floor. Repeat, floor. Floor. Thank you. Diana. There are four pictures on the wall. Thank you. Name yes. Um, sería, uh, there are many books on the shelves. There are many books on the shelves. Rene. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a book on the bed. There is a book on the bed. Okay. Margarita. There is a laptop on the floor. There is a laptop on the floor. Mauricio. Hey. There are some paper, paper in the floor. Okay, papers, repeat. Papers. Papers, these are papers. Look, papers. Paper. Right? Papers. Very good. Now we are going to continue. Next exercise. Okay. We go here to the kitchen. Right? We are in the kitchen. Now we are looking at questions right now. Okay. We have questions. With the questions, we are going to answer with the following Yes, there is. Yes, there are. No. There isn't. No, there aren't. Okay. For example, are there any eggs in the fridge? What could be the answer? Are there any eggs in the fridge? Yes, there yes. is. There are. Yes, there are. are. Yes, there are. Okay. Yes, comma, there are. Period. Right. Now, Answer the other ones. Answer the other ones. 
Don't fall asleep, Balmoris. Don't fall asleep. Wake up. Wake up. Okay. No, no, they, they aren't. Okay. Elsa, you have the answer for the next one. Okay. <laughs> no, no, they aren't. No, there aren't. Okay. No, there aren't. Repeat, aren't. Aren't. Okay. Now, se han fijado que cuando decimos you are, no, es, no pronunciamos la E, ¿verdad? Decimos you are. Entonces, cuando le decimos en negativo, tampoco la pronunciamos. ¿Ok? Ah. Entonces, si usted dice aren't, está mal dicho. Usted pues va a decir aren't. Aren't. No, aren't. there aren't. Ok. Así lo va a decir. ¿Ok? Porque nosotros aquí queremos sonar como gringos, no como salvadoreños cuando hablamos inglés. ¿Ah? ¿eh? There aren't. Very good. Lauriana, what do you got? Number three. Is there uh, any lettuce in the fridge? No, there is. No, there isn't. Okay. No, there isn't. Or oh, yes, there is. No, right? I don't see any lettuce. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, veamos. Kevin Vladimir. Is there any milk in the fridge? No, there, there aren't. No, there aren't. Okay. Now, remember, right? I will tell you, well, I will tell you later. Okay. Uh, are there bananas in the fridge? Are there bananas in the fridge? Ana Mercedes Amaya. Okay, yes, there are. Yes, yes there, are. there are. Yes, I see a few bananas. Okay, is there a cake in the fridge? Is there a cake in the fridge, Dionelli? Yes, and there are. Yes, are there are. No, siga los ejemplos aquí, miren, aquí están las respuestas que va a dar. Yes, there is. Yes, there are. No, there isn't. No, there aren't. Is there a cake in the fridge? Yes, yes. I do. Repita. Yes. Uh -huh. There is. There is, okay. <laughs> there is. Okay, thank you so much. Are there any lemons in the fridge? Are there any lemons in the fridge, Esmeralda? Mm, mm, no, no, there aren't. No, there aren't. Okay, there aren't. Thank you. Uh, is there any pizza in the fridge? Is there any pizza in the fridge? Let me see, Roxana Elizabeth. Is there any pizza in the fridge? Este. No, there aren't. No, there aren't. Uh, are, 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 or aren't. I don't know, is it positive or negative? Negative. Ok, entonces, ¿cuál es la respuesta? Um, no, there aren't. Are. There aren't, ok. There aren't. Ok, so we have the answers here. Right? Sí, Todavía no una consulta. Eh, no. no se contestaría, por ejemplo, la number... Sí, es four. que ya lo vamos a revisar. Ya lo vamos a revisar. Aquí cuando lleguemos a finish, vamos a revisarlo. <laughs> no falta otro ejercicio, okay? We we'll go with true and false, okay? We are going to listen to this exercise, okay? Ya vamos a llegar, ya lo vamos a ver ahí lo, la, las buenas, las malas, las que podemos mejorar. Look at this this classroom. This is a classroom, right? 
In this classroom, you are going to listen and tell me if it's true or false. Everyone, pay attention, okay? There are two windows in the classroom. There are two windows in the classroom. True or false, Ruben de Jesus? False. Oh, tell me. False. Um, false. False, okay. Next one, uh, help me out. Estamos tratando que no se me olvide nadie, que si una vez vamos a participar, okay? Porque somos bastante. Veamos, next one. Nehemias, help me out. Number two. There are three tables in the classroom. It's true. It's true. Okay. It's true. Now let's go. Uh, Mario Vendaño. There is a ball on the floor. Sorry, can you repeat, please? Yes. There is a ball on the floor. There is a ball on the floor. True. True. Ne eh, ese name, I don't know. Dominguez, listen. There are 13 chairs in the classroom. There are 13 chairs in the classroom. There are 13 chairs in the classroom. Repeat, please. There are 13 chairs in the classroom. Excuse me. Okay. René, apaga su, su, su. Okay. True. Okay. There are 13 chairs in the classroom. Okay. Let's go. René, listen. There are five children in the classroom. There are False. five children in the classroom. False, okay. Let's go here, uh, Margarita. There is a computer in the classroom. True. There is a computer in the classroom. True. True. There is a computer in the classroom. Next one here, Guevara, Miss Guevara. There is a picture on the wall. There is a picture on the wall. There is a picture on the wall. False. Mario Artiaga. Está ahí? No, Elsa. There are two biscuits on a table. There are two biscuits on a table. There are two biscuits on the table. Biscuits are like cookies. There are two biscuits on the table. Huh? True. True. Okay. Now we are going to click on finish. Okay. We click. We check the answers. Right. And we go. Very good. We have nine out of ten in this exercise. Very good. All right. Not too many bad answers, okay? So we did really great. Hicieron muy buen trabajo en este ejercicio. Estaba cortito, okay? Estaba cortito. Veamos acá. La primera parte, excelente, right? Second part, ¿qué nos hizo falta? Y que tenemos que prestar atención en el futuro, que creo que nos iba a decir la señorita Diana también, right? We need to pay attention to the nouns. Si el sustantivo Right, el noun está en singular. If it's singular, por ejemplo, milk, milk is singular. ¿Se recuerdan de los sustantivos que vimos en, en, en el módulo 2? Entonces, vayan a ser módulo 2. Ahí tuvimos que ver eh, how many, how much. ¿Se recuerdan? Countables and uncountables. Entonces, si tenemos milk, es uncountable, es singular toda la vida. No se puede contar que no se puede contar en inglés, entonces vamos a, a utilizarlo como singular. Del mismo modo, acá, is there any pizza? Pizza es 
contable, porque pues podemos decir one pixel, two pixels, three pixels, right? Pero nos hace la pregunta con any. Is there any pizza? No, there isn't. O, oh, yes, there is. Ok, is there any pizza? Is there. Desde ahí que nos dice cómo vamos a comenzar con is, ya lo contestamos. Luego, en la siguiente, acá solo es listening, right? Que nos dice. There are 13 chairs in the classroom. There are 13 chairs in the classroom. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are twelve chairs in the classroom. No hizo falta una sillita. Right? Then the other ones were fine. Do you have questions about the exercise? Preguntas acerca del ejercicio? No. no? Easy, right? No. Easy. Okay, very good. Now, what are we going to do? Right? What we're going to do in this moment is that I want you to look around. Look in your office, look in your uh, bedroom, in your living room. I don't know where you are. No sé dónde está. Está en oficina, está en su eh, eh, dormitorio, su, su, su sala. Okay, miren ahí y qué tienen. Okay, por ejemplo, en mi oficina, I would say there are two computers in my office, right? I put here, the, there, there are, there are two computers in my office. So I will escribe it. Okay, there are two computers in my office. I will say also, oof, there are a lot of markers, you know? The whiteboard markers on my desk. These are my examples. Write at least three examples. Escriban por lo menos tres ejemplos. Right? De qué hay alrededor de ustedes. Solo miren. Lo único que tienen que hacer es ver alrededor. Aquí puedo decir yo, uff, Margarita, there are three pictures on your wall. Fácil, ya ven. Solo vean qué hay alrededor de ustedes. ¿Se entiende lo que están haciendo? Yes. Pueden hacerlo en negativo. Miren, yo veo aquí en mi, en mi oficina. There isn't any refrigerator in my office. Lastimosamente no tengo, pero algún día. There isn't any refrigerator. Right. Yo quiero hacer el kitchen para hacerlo. There is one mirror in the living room. Excellent, Susana. There is a mirror in my living room. Very good, Marlon. Vamos, ¿qué más? ¿Qué más? Teacher, ¿cómo es? Uh -huh. eh, yo quería poner que hay tres sillas en, en, en el comedor, digamos, en el área de comedor. ¿Cómo, cómo sería? There are three There are... chairs in the dining room. Dining mm, okay. room. Comedor. Uy, dining room. En mi cuarto hay un TV. Sí, perfecto. Ahora dígame en inglés. There are many toys in the children's room. Excellent, Susana. In the children's room. Perfecto uso del posesivo children's room. Muy bien. There are many notebooks. ¿A dónde, Helen? ¿Dónde están esos notebooks? There are some glasses on my desk. Very good, Ruben. There are two dogs in my living rooms. ¿Cuántos living rooms tiene, Lauren? 
Es que yo tenía una casa, yo rentaba una casa que tenía tres living rooms, no sé con qué sentido, pero bien loco. ¿Eh? Quizás cuando se pelea uno con el esposo, ¿eh? no manda al otro cuarto. There are many penguins at the zoo. Now let's see, there is a TV in my living room. There are, there are one computer, Rosa Elizabeth, Roxana Elizabeth. There are one computer. Hmm. ¿Cómo podemos mejorar? ¿Cómo podemos mejorar esa oración, Roxana? There are one computer. Uh, there are many. There are many. One computer of in office? No. No podemos utilizar many con one. Ok. Many lo utilizamos para plurales. One, que es el número uno. Right. Es para singular, quiere decir que solo tenemos uno. Y de hecho, es mejor si utilizamos there is a o there is an. Right. En este caso, Roxana, debe escribir there is one computer in my office. There is. There is. Ah. Recuérdese, there is plus singulars. There are plus uh, plurals. Okay. okay. There are two windows. There is an, there is an eraser. An eraser. And also my table, there isn't, there isn't a kitchen, a kitchen. No, porque a kitchen, a kitchen es el, el, el todo, el, el, el cuarto. Uh -huh. mm. Usted si va, de, so, solo es la estufa, se va a ocupar acá, um, we can say oven, right? Oven, there is an oven. Thank you. You're welcome, there are my pencils. In my desk. Recuérdense. Recuérdense. In. On. In. On. Ok. Good. Ahora, vamos a pasar a asistencia. Vamos a terminar acá. Este, there are seven bottles of wine. Woo. There are three motorcycles. Que gala. Motorcycles in my garage. <coughs> Ok, vamos entonces, vamos a, a, a parar con los ejemplos, pasamos la asistencia y vemos aquí. Un momento. Ana Mercedes Amaya Corado. Present. Andrea Laureana Vázquez Martínez. I'm here. Carlos Mario Vendaño Peña. Present. Carlos René Rivas López. Present. Carmen René Calderón de Vázquez. Delmi Guadalupe Gómez Landa Verde. Present. Edgar Gonzalo Chacón Alvarado. <coughs> Elsa Merino de Villeda. Present. Francisco Nemías Godínez Urquilla. Present. Helen Dionelli Barraza de Jerez. Present. José Daniel Meneses Bolaños. Kevin Vladimir Gutiérrez Castillo. Present teacher. Marlon Barmoris Dueñas Rodríguez. Present. Mauro Estela Orantes Fernández. Nelson Domínguez Díaz Salas. Present. Oscar Mauricio Montenegro. Present. Reina Margarita Martínez de Castillo. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Méndez Melara. Present. Rubén Jesús Campos Gómez. Presente. Susana Esmeralda Jiménez Osorio. Present. Mario Alexander Arteaga Campos. Diana Carolina Guevara Ortiz. Present. Claudia Carolina Ventura Canales. Ok, guys. So today is day number seven. So today is day four. No, no. Today is day number six. It's for Delmi Guadalupe Gómez Landa Verde. Ok. Los demás nos podemos desconectar. O Delmi nos dice si no se va a quedar, así alguien más se puede quedar también, como usted guste. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye bye. Sí. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. <coughs> Hi, Roxana. Bye, Roxana. Bye, Roxana. Okay, 
Hi, Delmi. Hi, teacher. Um, um, Dígame, ¿en qué le puedo ayudar? Hola, un poco sobre el tema de manufacturing. En el caso de, de nuestra empresa, es una droguería. Uh -huh. eh, en ese caso serían los procesos. En, bueno, en mi caso, que soy encargada de bodega, primero sería receive the order. Uh -huh. eh, um, re, review. Uh -huh. De... Order and pre prepare the order and entrega deliver deliver the product. Okay, you say first I receive the order, second I review the order, third. Um, Pre prepare. Okay, I prepare the order. Okay, the order. And finally, I deliver the product. Right? Ese sería su, su, su proceso. Cuatro, okay. cuatro pasos sencillos. Sí. Primero okay. recibe, revisa, prepara y entrega. No es preciso que sea como de fabricar un producto, sino que todos los procesos que se realizan. Ok, manufacturing significa crear. Okay. Por eso les decía, el, el, el tema es de crear. Por ejemplo, teníamos el, el ejemplo de la pupusa. We manufacture a pupusa, we create a pupusa. Entonces, pero en este caso, como no, no, no todos eh, creamos productos, pero sí da, dábamos... Eh, servicios, entonces se puede seguir el proceso que el, el libro nos, nos pedía ok, el libro nos pedía que crear, que siguiéramos un proceso, entonces, un proceso con las palabras first, second, third final, entonces ya que no creamos un producto pero sí seguimos un orden ok ok uh -huh. thank you teacher you're welcome entonces, esta sería, ahí en el chat le acabo de poner el, los pasos. El proceso. Cuatro, sí, el, su proceso, exactamente. El proceso para, para el producto. ¿verdad? Pero sí, el que usted traía solamente le faltaba ponerle first, second, third, and finally. Y ya le queda su proceso. ¿Verdad? Okay. Okay. ¿Cuál sería otro? Pues... O alguna otra pregunta que tenga para yo ayudarle. Ah, sí, este, en, en the page 14, page 14, ajá, uh -huh. the exercise 5, eh, the complete, the exercise, exercise 14, uh, vi borré lo, las respuestas, please. ¿cuáles tenía usted? Este, solo tengo, Mix, eh, mix all the ingredients to make the chocolate table. A tablet. Ah, ah A tablet. tablet. Ah, table es la que usamos acá. Mesa. Tablet. Eh, eh, next, assemble, assemble the chocolate package to finish. And for a simple paste. Ok, tiene aquí mix, me dijo. Mix. En la segunda, ¿verdad? Mix all the ingredients to make the chocolate tablet. Luego, okay. ¿dónde tiene assemble? Assemble the chocolate package to finish. Assemble the chocolate package to finish. Assemble the chocolate package to finish. Ok, ¿qué más tiene? And for a simple pass. Form a simple paste. Paste. Repeat that. Paste. paste. Okay. Paste. Form a simple paste. Vamos a mover aquí los verbos. Mix. Assemble. <clears throat> Form a simple paste. Uh -huh. 
Vaya, nos faltan un montón. Entonces, uh -huh. ¿qué es separate? Ya lo tenemos. Separate the raw materials. Check. Check. Nos falta check. Label. Ground. Ground, uh -huh. por ejemplo, tenemos un, un, los beans. Lo tenemos, and then we, we kind of destroy them. For example, if we're going to make a tortilla, right? We have the corn and then we ground the corn to make the, the, the dough so we can make the tortillas. So what could be here the, the, the option? It will be number three. You ground. Ground, ground the cocoa beans into powder. Into powder, powder. Mm -hmm. Then we are going to repeat one uh, verb is mix. Mix the powder with milk. Yes. Assemble the chocolate package to finish. Form a simple page. Then we have two. Two more. Okay. ¿Qué hacemos? Nos falta check and label. Check and label. ¿Dónde pondría eso? Ah, sería label the package. Label the package. Ya le ponemos el nombre de qué tipo de chocolate va a ser. Ok. Label um, the package. And check quality and quality and quality control. 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 Exacto. Ahí tenemos el ejercicio. Muy bien. Ok. okay. Perfecto. Okay. ¿Alguna otra pregunta, Miss Gómez? No, no teacher. ¿Segura? Sure. Ok, perfecto. So I will see you there. Then, Miss Gómez, have a beautiful night. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Good night.